This is the Greater Brunswick Charter School 2023 NJSLA data presentation. We are happy that so many of our students take the NJSLA. We are a small school and have a small sample size. This slide shows Greater Brunswick Charter School across performance levels. We look to see lower percentages in levels one and two, the red and the orange, and higher percentages in levels four and five, the green. As you can see, we may notice uh, a high level three, the yellow, the approaching level. We are working to move all students along the continuum, showing growth to the next level. The effective execution of our tier one plans is key to this growth. This slide shows GBCS as compared to New Brunswick Public Schools and the state of New Jersey in language arts across the levels. And you can see here that on average, uh, GBCS outperformed New Brunswick Public Schools and the state on average outperformed both GBCS and New Brunswick Public Schools. This is showing performance levels in math for GBCS. And the effective execution of our tier one plans is key to this growth. We have a lot in the approaching area that we are looking to move into levels four and five, meeting and exceeding. This slide shows GBCS, New Brunswick Public Schools, and the state across the performance levels. GBCS outperformed New Brunswick Public Schools, and the state on average outperformed GBCS and New Brunswick Public Schools. GBCS performed higher than the state average in algebra. This is a two-year comparison of GBCS in language arts and math, and we can see pockets of positive trends and also regression. We are working with our instructional coaches. We are supporting our tier one plan, in addition to our overall title one plan. And our staffing plan this year reflects addition, additional certified and experienced special education staff, including in our middle school. And we've also expanded our resources for language arts and math, such as decodable texts and PRISM's virtual reality. We also took the NJSLA for science in grades five and eight. On average, GBCS outperformed Brunswick Public Schools, and on average, the state performed outperformed GBCS and New Brunswick Public Schools. In science, we revised our curriculum this past summer. We also adopted the PRISM's virtual reality uh, for math and science. And we'll continue to work with Rutgers, uh, with the consultant, to further develop our science and offer coaching um, and develop tier one plans for science in the future. There was growth from 2022 to 2023 in science. GBCS is implementing and developing instructional programs. We also are implementing intervention strategies, many connected to our school-wide Title I plan and our Tier I planning that we are doing. In summary, our state assessment, our NJSLA 
It reflects our internal data. That's what we use to drive our school-wide Title I plan, the academic plan for this current school year. The school review committee approved our Title I plan to have a focus on tiered systems of support with a special focus on tier one planning. Our administration, instructional coaches, consultants are working and collaborating to train and support our teaching staff, oversee implementation, facilitate data cycle reviews, and consistently evaluate the effectiveness of the program. Uh, our teaching staff are using data to strategically plan and implement instruction tailored to the students and their classes. And we piloted this last year in the spring with K-3 to and we're motivated to expand it to grades four to eight based on the results we saw. And we know that if we continue to see the gradual growth in our internal data, in those tier one plans, in our chapter tests, in our uh, reading assessments, this will be reflected in our state test data and our scores and achievement in general.